Hi, I'm Dana Frankoff, director of Voice Above Water. Hi, my name's Eric Ebner, I'm the producer. And I'm Romain Cahier, I'm the director of photography. Voice Above Water is a documentary on ocean preservation about a fisherman in Bali who is using his boat to collect trash out of the ocean. My biggest surprise during filming was probably just how impressed I was with Wyon. Um, I figured since he was getting towards the end of his life, maybe he'd be slower, maybe he'd be more apathetic towards life or pollution, and he really wasn't. He was, you know, sharp as a tack, really fit, like funny, just like happy to be alive, it seemed like. And so it was just, it was awesome working with him and like being able to communicate with him in the very basic way that I was. My biggest surprise about um, this, uh, this project is when uh, Wayne decided to, all, all of a sudden, he decided to play this little instrument, the, the flute, uh, while we were shooting something else. So it was literally uh, like he, he wouldn't let us shoot something else than him. <laughs> like that's how we felt. Yeah. Uh, and we were so overwhelmed, we didn't know where to, where to shoot. You know, there was <laughs> yeah. so much good, uh, good possibility of angles. My favorite moment directing the film was being inside of Wyan's hut with him and uh, getting the interview done through a translator. It was really, really cool to learn his story and be in his intimate space. Um, he's such an incredible character. I am so excited to show the world more about him. Um, the more he had to say, the more personality that came out, and I feel like we all got really close and shared that moment with him. I would say the best moment for me personally was the final morning. Uh, we were up at 4.45, kind of waiting for the sunrise to come. Wyon was out there. And there was a moment where, you know, we've got two boats, um, and I was just looking around, and we would have our drone cinematographer getting incredible shots. We've got Romaine getting sh shots at the water level, and we've also got our underwater cinematographer getting shots. And they were all, I was looking at the screens, and they were all incredible at the same time. And, uh, and there's a volcano in the background. It was just like very overwhelming. I'm getting goosebumps thinking about it right now, but uh, it was kind of one of those pinch me moments. Um, and it was just cool to work with, you know, so many professionals that were just on point at the exact same time um, in the shoot. It was, it was crazy and that was probably my favorite moment. In the past, I've shot a few documentaries where I was uh, in contact with uh, other uh, interesting character. But I have to say, Wayan was really um, so different from the other because he, he, would, he would share much with me and uh, he would like um, teasing me on, on some stuff. Or, where I remember when I was in the water, uh, say that we were crazy to do all of this just for him. <laughs> and because we were just getting this close-up shot of his hand on the water and uh, we, it was really hard to get this shot and I remember that um, uh, he said, why I have to do this all the time, you know? <laughs> so, so that was really interesting and he said, oh, you guys are crazy and, uh, and uh, I really, I can't wait to, to go back there and show him the movie we're doing. Mm -hmm. The first time we met Wyon, he immediately came and started pulling trash out of the boat and putting it into his trash pile where he collects trash. It was like he immediately got into character um, and was excited to show us who he really was. He didn't even say hi, did he? He just no. went right to the trash. Yeah, yeah. he went yeah. right to work. It was yeah. funny and He's cool. Motivated. He was really yeah. focused on uh, on this, and I remember every time we were shooting, he was just do We were telling him to do this action, like go from the beach to the hut. He would just say it over and over without us to tell him to stop. Yeah, like he was so in the uh, in the in the road. So the goal of Voice Above Water is really to bring awareness to all the plastic that is collecting in the ocean. Um, Mostly it's to show that we all need to do our part and not just sit and wait for others to do it. Um, it's a problem that's happening around the world. Wyon is just an example of somebody using his resources like all of us could. So I hope that it affects people on a personal level, it motivates people to make a difference. Um, it's a small example on a large scale of what we all need to participate to protect our oceans. What I hope the audience takes from this film is, um, I guess, the idea of personal responsibility and accountability for you know our environment and our oceans. I think you see Wyan, and he kind of leads by example. Like he might not be here in 10 years, and he's doing his part, and I will probably be here in 10 years. It makes me think about like, what am I doing? Like it's easy to just say that I support these causes, but am I really taking action? You know, am I? 
picking up trash when I see it? Am I donating to these causes? Probably, probably not doing as good as I should be. So it's been motivating for me and hopefully it will make the audience think about themselves a little bit too in their actions.